Hey, in this video I want to show you PureFlow. It's an app on the iPad and it's for creating flow charts. Here I've created one. Let me go ahead and get one started. I'll go to my local. It also has iCloud support or cloud support. Let me create a new one. You choose the format and that's useful for creating a for printing later. Let's go ahead and start with a start and you can type. I've got a Bluetooth keyboard. This is the beautiful part. You just drag down and create the next item and we'll just say uh, log ticket. We'll say this is a support process. You can create an item to the right. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can pick different colors. And then you can also do a number of different things. If you if you move it around, you can control it. You can align. It really helps you kind of get aligned. So there's some snapping that's going on there. Um, you can also add existing. So if you want to pick a, the same color and want everything to be uniform, then you can do that too. Um, I'll go ahead and show you one that I finished. Here's one where we're starting, we'd log a ticket, critical, so we have a decision. Uh, let me show you, if I wanted to move a couple of things, I can hold down, grab a few items, and move them up or down. So I can maybe make some space for an additional item here. I can log a new item right here. And you can see that new item, I can get rid of that old point this one to the next one and then move this one right in place. So it's very handy for getting things created. There's undo and redo support. We have um, some default fonting or font choices and default font, si font size. And we can also share and push it into a image, a PDF, and um, open it in another tool, for example, I can go ahead and open it in iBooks if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and do that. So there's my PDF. I could print it if I needed to, things like that. So it's a really handy tool um, and there's some support with it. I really like the simplicity of it. It's really nice and, um, and the fact that it has cloud support. Let's go ahead and look at the options there. Give it a name. Click done. And that's all going to my cloud, iCloud account or a local storage. Real simple and really functional to use. 